Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. to take home the title. And Good there's fight. Herb Dean. He will handle fight. the action inside the octagon. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. Trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This is going to be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together, so he's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Knee on belly. Grab those ribs. Big ground and pound. There. Change of the position. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out again. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And there you go. Again, half guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Stop. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Under three minutes to go in round one. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. goes in half goal. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Create a scramble. Let's go. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Great submission defense on the play tonight. Two minutes now to go. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so a million eight goes back in full mount. That was a slick transition. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Emelianenko's got him in a crucifix now, going to go to work from the top. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
All right, so Emelianenko goes right back to the full mount. And very effective with the ground and pound. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the field. This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Use your elbows. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. In the half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the lock. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well-versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. That was on full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Good straight hand there by Lee. Goes upstairs. Gets a foot to the target. I can play. Starting to, Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Clean punch. Great body kick there. Beautiful right punch lands there. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. That's a jab. Building a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Emelianenko. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, nice straight left. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Kick is there by Lee. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, he's in trouble. Wow, fantastic submission defense yet again. Now he's going full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. One on one. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Fedor Emelianenko getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. All right, side control now, DC. You know, he's looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Lee's back in full mount. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, All right 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Hook to the head there by Emilianenko. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. And that spinning kick down is home up top. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. They are going at it with each other. These two guys want to end the fight very fast. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back in the clinch, look for a takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clip position and get it close. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Hook there by Lee. And he switches to Southpaw. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round. And really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on Look at him top of the wood. Top the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Nice kick, yep. He does everything so well. 
And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Emelianenko's got the full mount. In the half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so Emelianenko's right back to the full mount here. Nice shots landing from the top position. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, right into Mount. This is a terrible position. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Under a minute to go. Nicely done. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Roll his head. Roll his All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Emelianenko. Huh? All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Fight. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Right now, did they inject something into his face or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two man up the cup. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar time here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All those strings, all the conditioning we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Pedro Emelianenko gets the single leg takedown. Well played. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Emelianenko's back in half goal. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Emelianenko getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. And he is back up to his feet. Fedor Emelianenko gets stung by that leg kick. 
was able to get that one blocked. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice. Nicely done. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice combination. Beautiful body kick. to connect with the right hand there. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, nice takedown defense. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. Just misses with the left hook. Under two minutes here to go round four. Him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Luke. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, so Emilianenko's in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Emilianenko grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Nasty elbow lands for this guy. Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Emilianenko. What a strike from off of his back. Now he's got good body position, yup. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. I don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning oh, the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Sit down, catch your breath, slow it down, get some water. Listen, everything you're putting out there is working. I want you to stay. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round, fourth count. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Connects with another jab. Nice leg kick. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Beautiful leg kick lands. And again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where He's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Big 
gets the single leg takedown. Nice shot lands from the bar. He's gonna tag off here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Holding the position, might still be able to get a submission here. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the fight. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Takedown defense holds up. Short uppercut here on the clinch by Lee. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Nice jab, I fade They're so evenly matched. They're going to attack. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Dig and kick. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. All right, feet on the hips here. Great submission defense. All right, so Emilian goes back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start at him. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Lee. Emilianenko's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Good jab there by the champion. Lee's kick is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Immediately gets the underhook. Fighters separate from the clinch. Right on the button. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after...